I'll just bring up that chart about the technical resistance that these Philippine stocks are, are facing here right now. Yes, it seems like it's likely that we'll enter a bull market again for the market, but what's it going to take to actually break above those levels and some of these resistance levels that we're seeing? Well, thanks, Yvonne. It's going to take a, it will take a, a very strong fundamental growth story to bring the market to new heights, and I think that's exactly what we have. Most importantly, um, if you, uh, based on the demand we're seeing on the ground, uh, domestic-driven uh, demand, um, we're, we're, we're actually getting strong indications that uh, uh, it makes a lot of sense for corporate, core corporate earnings to grow by double digits um, over the next three years, at least over the next three years. In the first quarter this year, you already saw net income growth at about uh, 14% core income growth at, a, at about 9, 9 to 10%. But we think that there is growth momentum um, being generated on, and it's very visible in certain sectors in the economy. So earnings growth will grow double digit over the next three years. That's our estimate. And then you have this supported by uh, a very strong economy, strong domestic driven, consumption driven economy that is enjoying, uh, going to enjoy lower interest rates and is on the brink of a massive infrastructure spending program by the government. So yeah. that plus uh, low levels of foreign ownership, foreign ownership levels have dropped significantly um, compared to the um, early part of the decade. And uh, you also have valuations. Yeah. Uh, I think David was talking about valuations earlier. The chart actually shows you that you are, you're, you're at the trough. I mean, that you're at levels where, uh, where the Philippines was, I think before we actually got upgraded uh, to investment grade. And a lot's happened since then. Uh, that, so yeah. those fundamental factors uh, support our view. I think that the market should reach 10,000 uh, by year 2021. And I don't think we're the only ones sharing this optimism. If you look at corporate action, um, yeah. the, the, the big conglomerates, the, 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 the big com listed companies are actually increasing capex spending. Capital expenditures are up by a whopping 77% over the last three years. Uh, aside from that, you Julian. also see uh, corporate buybacks up four times over the same period of time. Yeah, yeah you mentioned about how double-digit earnings growth. Break it down for us. You mentioned a little bit about the infrastructure stocks, but which sectors actually look the strongest to you? Real estate looks still very strong. Uh, banks look strong. Uh, construction uh, and industrials look very strong. Consumer, obviously, uh, we anticipate big things. Even, um, I mean, even the telecommunications companies, which have been growing by three to five percent in the past, is, are now growing do double digits. So, I think that's a pretty strong core uh, group of industries main industries that are growing significantly and will continue to do so over the succeeding uh, years. Julian, absolutely. I mean, this is a construction 25%. That's your uh, sectoral breakdown. Financials 8%. Property, that includes real estate. So it's an infrastructure play, effectively, is what you are actually doing at the moment. And some of your uh, companies, I mean, just looking at your top holdings, you've got EEI Corporation up 37% year-to-date. Eagle Cement that's uh, one of your worst performers, not even up 1%, they're flat. But otherwise, it's been absolutely remarkable. Mega World, 28% growth. We've got also at the same time, DM Wenceslas, up 26%. It, it's, it, it is quite something, but the point being, have, has this run up for these companies, actually, in your view, perhaps mm, just uh, got ahead of itself a bit? Sorry, I, I didn't. The I'm saying that the, the run-up of no, these companies, I, I was just mentioning some of your real estate and infrastructure-related holdings and, you know, how much they have been actually growing typically, you know, 37% in the case of EEI Corporation, etc. Now, the point being, this move so far in the, the, since the start of the year has been so big, you do expect there to be a bit of a breather? Um, can't tell you about the timing, but... I, I can't tell you where it's going to be in the short term, but over the long term, uh, it's still trading. Those companies are still, still trading way below at steep discounts to intrinsic values, our intrinsic value estimates. And uh, uh, I would think very, pr uh, assuming very prudent um, order book assumptions for EEI, for example. EEI just 
is part uh, will, will be benefit from the Metro Manila subway um, project, and that will uh, only serve to expand its order book, which is at a record high. All the more, um, those other companies you mentioned uh, are also primed to to grow very fast. The common thread with all of these companies is that uh, it's not rocket science. We're simply investing in the fastest growing companies uh, in the market um, based on our long-term uh, uh, projections. Yeah, you also like pizza. And is pizza going to be a big thing? Shakey's Pizza is a 7.7% holding and is up 18% year to date. I should add, they also have chicken on their menu. Yes, uh, we like our pizza. We, uh, it's a very iconic <laughs> brand, very high return on equity. Um, and uh, it's only in the big early stages of, of uh, regional, it's, its expansion outside of the, the capital, outside of Metro Manila. Uh, and that we think will, will um, provide a further uh, boost in terms of uh, core earnings and uh, share price appreciation, shareholder value creation. And Julie, before I let you go, I'm just wondering, given the forecast and how bullish you are, how much is that contingent on whether we're going to see a budget uh, in the second half? I think the budget's already been approved, Yvonne, and uh, spending is going to accelerate in the second half, whether it's the third quarter or, or the fourth quarter. The big ticket projects have been awarded. Uh, the, 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 the overseas development assistance uh, uh, projects are, are, are on the way, on the brink. I actually live very near to one. Um, it, it's not a PowerPoint presentation anymore. It's, it's not anecdotal evidence anymore. We're seeing um, uh, shovels in the ground. We're seeing uh, people building stuff already. Uh, it's, it's, mm. it's real and, and it's, it's happening. So, yeah, just excited uh, for, for, for uh, bigger and better things for, for the Philippine economy.